is going on Android boys and girls this is Steve for Android Night and today I'm going to be showing you how to get exposed on your Android phone running Lollipop this has been a pretty highly requested video first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description and you want to open up this page here which is the official exposed for Lollipop Android 5.0.1 um, thread on XDA developers and then you also want to open up this one here which is the Q&A thread um, for the same thing. To install this on Lollipop you need two things. First of all you need the exposed installer 3.0 alpha APK and in order to download that go to the first link and it is literally just here. So you want to go ahead and download the APK file. Then if you look to the bottom of these links you'll see there are a bunch of different zip files that we can download and now you need to choose the one that is compatible with your phone and in order to find out which version you need you want to go back to the discussion thread and you want to go to this slightly complicated looking flowchart but then it's actually very very simple so the next thing you want to do is go to gsmarena.com and there's a link to that in the description as well then just go into the search box and type in the model of your phone I'm using the LG Nexus 5 then you want to scroll down to where it says platform you want to go to CPU and then you want to copy and paste this value here so for the Nexus 5 it's a quad core 2.3 gigahertz crate 400 so I'm just going to copy and then paste that back and you want to type ARM version after it. So you should have your phone's processor and then ARM version. So then you want to poke around on Google for a little bit and as you can see here I found Crate is the code name for Qualcomm's custom ARM v7 microprocessor. So it's an ARM v7 so I'm just going to jump back up to that discussion thread and I'm going to follow this flowchart. So I'm running Android 5.1, I'm not running a TouchWiz ROM, it is ARM version 7 so I follow this green arrow here and you can see I need Robo89's official ARM version SDK22. So I'm gonna jump back to that downloads page. I'm gonna find the SDK22 and I'm gonna find the ARM version and I'm just gonna download that to my laptop. So at this point, you should have both the exposed installer 3.0 alpha APK and you should also have the specific zip file for your ARM version. Now, once you've got both of these files, you need to go ahead and connect your phone. I just wanna grab those two files and drop them across to your SD card. And as you can see now, I have the exposed version 74 SDK22 ARM version .zip on my SD card and I also have the exposed installer. You wanna make sure these are on the root. Um, it doesn't actually make a huge amount of difference um, but if they're in a file, it's just a little bit more complicated to find them. So I'd recommend you just drop them straight onto the root of this SD card. And from here, we are going to be jumping over to the Nexus 5. So once you have those files on your phone, you want to power it off and boot into your bootloader. And you do this by holding your power button and your volume down. And then you want to scroll down and boot into your recovery. The recovery I'm using is Clockwork Mod, but you can use TWRP um, or any of the other variants. I believe if you use TWRP, there is sometimes an issue where it'll say it hasn't got enough um, space on the file system. And the quickest fix for that is to go to your phone and to disable USD, USB debugging, and that seems to fix it for most people. But I am going to be using Clockwork Recovery because it seems to work very nicely. You want to scroll down to where it says Install Zip. Then you want to choose your zip from the SD card. So you want to choose your exposed zip file and you want to install it. And that should run through like that. And you can see the installation from the SD card is complete. You now want to go back and you want to reboot your system. And if you get the option to fix root, just scroll down and hit yes. And your phone should now reboot. Yes, there's a scratch on my Nexus 5 and it's really, really annoying me. Um, I gave my old Nexus 5 to a friend and this is my stepmom's old Nexus 5. She's now using um, an LG G3. Um, but yeah, she managed to crack it and it doesn't annoy me as much as I thought. I've never used a phone with a cracked screen, um, but when I'm filming, it's very, very obvious, so I apologize for that. So you wanna let your phone reboot. This can take a while. So you can see it is updating. Um, if you think you've got a boot loop, just put it on your desk, go and make a cup of tea. It can take up to two or three minutes for this thing to boot, um, sometimes even longer. But if you get to sort of like 10 or 15 minutes and it still isn't booting, you want to go into your settings um, through the recovery and you want to wipe your Dalvik cache and that should fix the issue um, for most things. But this is currently doing 30 of 108, so I'm going to make a cup of coffee and I'll see you guys in a second. Now you need to go into whatever file manager you use on your phone and you want to install the exposed installer and it's the alpha version. If your phone says you can't install it, you need to go to security and your settings and you need to tick unknown sources. And then once that's installed, you can go ahead and open it. And if you want to make sure that it's running, you can go to framework and you can see at the top that it is active. So there you are guys, that's how you can easily install exposed on a Lollipop phone or tablet. I hope you enjoyed that guys. Please drop a comment below if you've got any other questions about this process or if you'd like to see a guide for anything else. 
Please like this video if you've enjoyed it. You can follow me on all my social media things with the links in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.